Master Rabbi Jesus probably said it best, and that is the spirit is willing, the body is weak. And so you got to take your whole temple, which in Tai Chi Gong and Lamasari, we teach that the spirit, mind, and body are but one. We refer to as the true ancient Chanda. Spirit, mind, and body are one, right? So body 3D, mind 4D, spirit 5D, right? So seven frequencies in the third dimension, seven frequencies in the fourth, seven free. And there's that magic 21 number again that scriptures talk about, right? When I'm doing my spinning, I'm spinning seven times for the body. I'm spinning seven times for the mind and seven times. So the whole system of Tai Chi Gong and the 45 day challenge is to introduce you to your power is to bring you into it. And when you do that, your faith becomes on fire. You know, my wife for years, since she was five years old, praying the rosary, praying every day over an hour a day. So about 10 years into Tai Chi Gong, I said, does it make you, praying the rosary feel threat she says no it put gasoline on my fire of faith now watch that gasoline on the fire of faith that's what we've been talking about this whole episode that's what we're talking about so if you if you got something that's not going to cost you a dime it's going to cost you a little effort 20 to 40 minutes a day of your time And you're willing to challenge yourself, meaning, does it work for me too? So I'm going through these testimonies. Watch what happens to your faith. Because if your faith is weak, you'll say, well, I don't know if that could happen to me too. But when you read 10, 20, 30 testimonies, and they're saying things that you understand, and you see financial benefit from practicing exercise, You see spiritual benefit. You see holistic benefit. You see physical pain. You see emotional trauma release. You know, it's amazing that what's happening to all the people. Faith is the things that are hoped for that are unseen. We have to have it in your life. And you have to be responsible for it because if you don't take control of your faith your belief and your trust you're giving that power to an outside source why would you give outside authority the permission to say what's happening in you here or what's happening in your bank account why would you give outside authority the belief that they can control how much money you're going to make in a year, right? Think about this. Greater is the that is in me than is in the world. That's the authority. That's who you should be listening to. 